Okay everyone, Darren here. You have to excuse the traffic noise, it's a bit of a busy day. Uh, so what we've got here is, and I must admit, a pretty cool looking 110, but it turns out it's got a load of issues and we need them sorted uh, for it to be an effective support vehicle for our charity. So everything I've found so far, well, the initial thing was it, it broke down because of this hose and that's why it's here so it looks like all the hoses for the water are petrified or whatever it's called all squishy knackered and need replacing new thermostat a lot of oil everywhere this is normal. The header tank had a bit of mayonnaise in it, so hopefully that's from old problems in the past. If not, then that's something we'll have to look at. Things like this. Finger, finger type bolts just randomly around. Not sure what they're for. Wheels and tyres look good. Hope nuts are a bit loose on this, but some uh, some Loctite sorted that out on the inside. And basic Land Rover interior. I can see daylight through the through the door. Is that normal? I'm not sure. Behind here we've got some of the electrics for the emergency equipment. Uh, most of it looks like a decent installation, but we've got some dodgy connections there that need to be sorted. We've got a side panel here for access, but the, uh, the locking rod is a bit dangerous, so I think we'll have to put some sort of protection on that, some plywood up here or something. I'll open that hatch for you so you can see. It's a good idea. Very useful, but I think we'll have to add some ceiling strips on it because of the dust and noise and rattling. This is the storage area. There's the spare wheel. You can see we've got a beacon, we've got blue lights, rear blues, rear area light. Oh, no, uh, no spare wheel carrier. Is that something that we could put on? I think it'd be useful. More shoddy wiring, really dodgy. Should be a simple fix though, for some interior lights. Someone had installed LED strips, which are a bit bit janky but they'll be easy enough to sort looks like we might have some interior 12 volt power but that needs all testing and checking to make sure that's adequate not sure if oh there's a hole that needs to be covered up and if you can see these these studs come through from the emergency lighting they need sorting before they rip some scalp off and here's a question for you. What's underneath this, these benches? Is that space that's usable? Can we rip the wood out? I don't know. Use it for, for secure storage? Put some hinges on it, some handles? Don't know. Please let me know if you've got any ideas, or if you know a bit more about it. Well, I think we need a bit of plywood between the, the cab and the storage area. So let me know what you think and whether you think be able to help us get underneath I think it looks all right not too bad got a bit of a leaky fuel tank from what I can gather it's a bit stinky and a bit wet under there new calipers by the look of it so some good stuff some bad stuff let us know what you think 
Let us know if you think you can help us. Speak to you soon.